Revelations chapter 8, verse 8. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. In the whispers of the night, a sense of foreboding lingers, like a shadow cast by unseen hands. The world, it seems, is holding its breath, waiting for a momentous event, a convergence of signs and portents that defy rational explanation. It began with a total solar eclipse, a celestial ballet that traced an X across the sky, a cosmic signature etched in darkness. The path of totality as if guided by an unseen hand swept through cities with names uh, steeped in ancient lore, like Nineveh, stirring echoes of the distant past. And then there was the Devil's Comet, harbinger of doom, known also as the mother of dragons, blazing a fiery trail across the heavens, its fiery tail, a portent of things to come. NASA, it seemed, was not immune to the cosmic dance unfolding above, launching three rockets, codenamed APEEP, on the very day of the eclipse, as if seeking to unlock the secrets of the universe itself. But it was not just the heavens that stirred you prefer. We're talking about the eclipse. Two broods of cicadas. 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 Or set to see billions, possibly even more cicadas this spring. What? Two broods of cicadas emerging from years of hibernation added their chorus to the growing symphony of signs, their buzzing wings reminiscent of the locusts of old. And that even CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was not immune to the cosmic alignment, firing up its massive particle accelerator on April 8th as if seeking to pierce the veil between worlds. But perhaps the most chilling sign of all was yet to come. News broke of an asteroid, a behemoth the size of a mountain hurtling towards Earth. Its target, the waters off the coast of Madagascar. A cataclysmic collision that would send shockwaves around the world. Some dismissed it as coincidence. The random alignment of celestial bodies, human events, but others, those attuned to the the ancient rhythms of the universe saw something.